Uh, Hélène Landemorg is a Yale professor. And uh, uh, when did you first hear about the uh, new Icelandic constitution? Uh, I think it was in June 2012. I was actually invited to be part of a conference on the crisis of democracy here in Iceland. And um, I, I didn't know really much about it. And then so I came to this conference. I learned a lot. I read, I started reading uh, whatever was available, which wasn't much. And then I started interviewing people. And so that's how I learned about it I've, since 2012, roughly. How common is it uh, to change uh, so uh, dramatically a uh, constitution uh, worldwide, if we say that? Um, it's pretty common, actually. <laughs> Apparently, the average um, longevity of a constitution is only 19 years. So it seems like uh, there's a lot of turnover, um, some violent, some more peaceful. Uh, and so actually, the, the fact that the Icelandic constitution from 1944 lasted for more than 70 years is actually quite remarkable. Okay, so this, this is not uh, uh, uncommon, uh, no. the gesture we took, or is it in some way? Is it, is it, sorry, what? Is it uh, uncommon in some way, the, the process we made? Oh, no, the process you made is very uncommon. The, the change is not, but the, the process you made is, uh, is absolutely, um, in, uh, as far as I know, unheard of. Uh, you decided to be as inclusive, transparent and participatory as possible from the get-go, which is also very unusual. You started with a, a consultation of the public uh, through this national forum of 950 randomly selected people, um, it's completely novel. And the crowdsourcing part during the, the constitution writing process per se, the, the drafting stage, is also very new. Um, so I think that's, that's why we're here. That's why everybody's excited and the, the world is watching. It's like because you're giving us a, um, a new historical precedent. Uh, what is the most important uh, features of the new Icelandic constitution? I think there are many. Uh, I think the participatory dimension of this constitution, the fact that citizens can initiate um, legislative proposals is actually really remarkable. Um, the fact that um, you have um, um, a right to internet is also kind of novel, I believe. Um, the clause on the collective uh, ownership of, nat of uh, natural resources is also, um, I think there are some other countries who've got something similar or are thinking about something similar, but I think it's very new. So all these aspects, the participatory dimension, the environmental uh, dimension, the technological dimension uh, are, are quite remarkable. You, um, you have also these, uh, these uh, uh, very inclusive sets of rights that uh, I think it's a trend, generally speaking, to have sort of rights inflation in constitutions, but uh, yours are, are phrased in a, in a particularly uh, expansive way. Helen um. Landemort, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mm.